Welcome to Orchid Gardening Days in Montego Bay. See the beautiful blooms in my garden. Learn about orchids. Enjoy the video, like and subscribe. So while watering my plants, to for the repotting of this plant with the new growth, I've decided to use the same pot, even though it's a you know tiny growth, with the same media. So I'm gonna just empty it out the new the media on this newspaper I have laid out. But let me take the first carefully so it is not damaged. All right, and I might have to take off parts of the plant. Uh, maybe just this piece here I'll take off. But looking at it closer now, it has what? Three roots and another root coming. So I'm happy it's making a recovery. Oh, more than three. One, two, three, four roots and another root coming. So I'm gonna put it in this mixture of grow fertilizer. Not long, maybe just five minutes because I'm gonna pot it up right now. So I'm gonna empty. I got a mixture of stone. Oh no, there's some a frog. Poor me, I hate frogs. Did you see it? I'm gonna have to stop the video, guys. So there's an entire family. One, two, three, four frogs. Can you identify them? There's one. There's two. And there's another two. So let me run, scare these frogs away. I'll be right back. Okay, so there are actually six frogs in total. Crazy, right? Well, I'm hoping I don't see any more in the media I'm about to place in the pot. Let's see if I find the seventh one. I'm really terrified of frogs, guys. Terrified, terrified. So, I'm not a frog person. I don't mind lizards. Lizards are friendly. They stay to themselves. Frogs are very invasive. In my opinion, they just jump, jump, jump everywhere. I don't like that personality of them. Anyway, I'm not seeing any more, thank God. I've been having many heart attacks this whole time. Trying to scare them off. One jumped in a corner that I hope he doesn't jump again from behind me. So I have here a piece of string that I'll use to secure the plant in the pot. Because what I realized is if this pot topples over, the entire orchid goes with it so I always like to secure my orchids especially when they're heavy and the pot is heavy so it's been soaking for just about five minutes and as I said I need to cut away some of these dead pseudobulbs or dead roots this one here is what I chose to cut away so that it will not as a matter of fact now that I'm inspecting it I'm gonna let it remain but what I will do is cut away the roots a lot of roots that are not functional I didn't cut them away originally because I wasn't sure where the orchid would spring new growth from and even though these roots are no longer functional sometimes it does help 
I have them on to give it at least a 1% chance of sprouting. But based on this root growth here, let me see if I can peel away this dead flesh really carefully. All right, exposing lots of new roots here. That will push out. All right, there you go, peeking out. I have to be very gentle. Don't want to damage. Me and my long nails. All right, so now we can see what's going on. Rinse it off. All right, so there we have it. Several roots here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so let's cut away some more of these old roots I don't want it to be in the way and hopefully they will assist with um, inducing new root growth when I cut it away Clippers are dull already. See. So this is the older plant. I don't see any growth happening. I see something here. Not sure what it will end up being. Let's cut around it. Hopefully it will induce growth. Yeah, my cut was disappointing me. That's a root. No, it's not. It's just debris. Yeah, so cut away as much as I could. I don't think I'll cut anymore. Use the rest of the roots to anchor the plant in the pot. Maybe I should like trim it like this. Tidier? It looks tidier. I'll trim this part. Alright, so the rest of the roots, I'll use it as anchorage in the pot. This looks like a failed new growth that was going to grow and didn't. Yeah. So I won't trouble that part. So this would be the future of the plant, this direction. 
So I have to pot it strategically, like from this edge going that way. So it's essence, it's going to be in the middle of the pot so it can grow that way. Because if you notice, the plant is growing horizontally, right? So that's my aim. Let it continue to soak while I prepare the media. Hopefully frog free. Oh my god, man, these frogs. Seriously guys, it's yeah, it's a problem for me. So I have a shovel. It's gonna take me a while to slowly get this in. Once I've got it in, I'll restart the video. And here are the frog eggs I found while potting up. There's actually eight frogs. One tried to kill me. He jumped on me. Scream like a girl. He ran off after I brushed him off. Yeah. I don't know. I might have to stop for the day. I'm traumatized. So I've managed to get most of the media back in. I'm just putting the last of it with most of the coal on this side moisture oh and wood chip as well so that's a wood chip coal bark might change the location of the oh yeah and I've anchored it using this tie I had it through the bottom holes of the pot and tied it down into the media so I'm just gonna hose it down wash it off real quick this is the new Let's see if I can focus in on it yeah the new growth of this rescue orchid and it's about oh I should anchor it this way it's halfway in to the pot let me stake it so it can stay like this when growing. Be right back. So here we have it finally potted. The new growth is now in the center. So it will grow in this direction. There are quite a few other supporting canes that will help feed this new growth as well as my regular monthly or two weekly fertilization. So I've anchored it with this stake to keep it upright and it should be happy. Right now there are a lot of new growths pushing down about five new roots. I'm gonna relocate it in a new spot. So apart from this new repot, I need to figure out where am I going to put it because then I want to expose it to more sunlight. Where it was, it was in complete shade. Well, not complete, filtered shade. But now that it's growing, it's going to need sunlight. As you can see, it's not even very green. So let's think about that. So I've decided to place it out front on my front porch with the other plants it will get good sun coming from that way that direction so i've put this in the direction of the light the light comes in this way it won't be a permanent spot here but for now because i'm watching it and it's under you know special care I will place it here. I will place it here until 
I've noted the new growth is out of danger. And it gets a lot stronger. Maybe the stalk hardens a bit. And then I'll find somewhere else. But right now, keep it under watchful. Thanks for watching.